Question number one, which property do these four objects have in common? So we can see the four uh, food items. Select the best answer. Option A, all of them are blue. That is incorrect. They are bumpy. Yes. Option C is slippery. Of course, they are not slippery. And the last option is translucent. It means light can pass through them. So option B is the correct option. The surface of all these objects is bumpy. Question number two, which material are those soccer shorts made of? Option A, wood. Of course not. Option B is ceramic. C is polyester. And D is concrete. So concrete is used to make uh, walls and floors. Ceramic is used to make uh, cups or plates. And wood, we all know that wood is very hard material. So polyester is the uh, flexible uh, material which is used to make the soccer shorts. So option C is the correct option here. Question number three, cleanliness, physical exercise, rest and sleep are a part of DASH. Option A is hygiene, option B is social hygiene, option C is personal hygiene and option D is none of these. So cleanliness, physical exercise, taking rest or sleeping is part of the personal hygiene. It is for our well-being. Question number four, which one of the following is an unhealthy habit? Option A is sharing food, B is bathing twice a day, C is drinking boiled water and D is eating without washing one's hand. So obviously eating without washing hands is the most unhealthy habit which can make us sick. Question number 5. Which is a natural resource? Tree, cupcake, umbrella or notebook? So tree is the natural resource out of all these four pictures. Question number six, which of the following statements is a prediction about the weather? Option A, it is beautiful outside. Option B, it was cloudy yesterday. Option C, it is going to rain today. And the last option is, I wish it would snow. So out of these four options, option C is a prediction that it is going to rain today. So that is the correct option here. Question number seven, which of the following are non renewable resources of energy? Option A, wind, water, sunlight. B is water, food and wind. C is sunlight and water. And option D is coal, oil and natural gas. So non renewable uh, energy comes from sources that will run out or will not be replenished in our lifetimes or even in many many lifetimes. Most non-renewable energy resources are fossil fuels, coal, petroleum and natural gas. So it means option D is our correct option. Question number 8. What do these two changes have in common? Water boiling on a stove. When water uh, is boiling on a stove, the liquid will change into gas and breaking a piece of glass. So option A is both are physical changes. Option B is both are caused by heating. C is both are chemical changes and both are caused by cooling. So here option A is the correct option. Uh, in the result of both activities, the physical change will appear and the, uh, uh, the water and the glass, the physical appearance of the uh, water and glass will be changed. Question number 9. Many stars are much brighter than a sun. The su star Polaris, also known as North Star, is over 2000 times as bright as the sun. But when viewed from Earth, the sun looks brighter than any other star in the sky. Which of these models explains why? Option A is our room looks brighter as you turn on more lights. So it means there are more than one light. B is a snowball gets bigger as it rolls down a hill. C is a candle looks brighter the closer you stand to it. And the last option is a big dog barks louder than the small dog. So here we can uh, represent or imagine sun as a candle. So option C is the cor correct one. A candle looks brighter the closer you stand to it. 10. In the design, the dome will not be strongly attached by the red magnet. 
so the door will not stay closed. Kiran thinks she can fix the design by putting a new object on the door. She wants the new object and the red magnet to attract so the door will stay closed. Which of the following objects will she use? Option A is copper coin. Option B is plastic button. Option C is aluminium pull tab. Tap and the last option is steel washer. So she should use steel washer on the magnet because there is no bump on this. And secondly, we know that uh, magnets attract the materials made of steel. So option D is the correct one. Question number 11. Lahore, Pakistan has a warm, dry climate. The city had the heat wave in June 2007. The following temperature data was collected in Lahore during the heat wave on June 9. At what time of the day the temperature was highest? So we can see the temperature is highest at 2 p.m. So option B is the correct option. Question number 12. The following picture was taken after an earthquake. What evidence of the earthquake does this picture show? Option A, there is a guard rail on each side of the road. Option B, there are buildings with broken windows. C, is there are large cracks in the road. And the last option is none of these. So we can clearly see large cracks in the road. Question number 13, the images below show four pairs of magnets. The magnets in different pairs do not affect each other. All the magnets shown are made of the same material, but some of them are different sizes and shapes. Think about the magnetic force between the magnets in each pair. Select the pair with the strongest magnet force. So we can see the magnets of different sizes and the distances are also varying here. So in option B and D, the distance is more between two magnets. So we will avoid these two options. If we look at our option A, the size of the magnet given in option A is smaller than the size of the magnet given in option C. So option C is our correct option because here the magnet is bigger and we have less distance uh, as compared to option B and D. So option C is our correct option. The magnetic force will be stronger in option C. Question number 14, consider the following statements and select the correct options. Option 1, uh, the people who neither can speak nor hear, they explain their words to others through gestures. So yes, their face gestures explain many things. The people who neither can speak nor hear, they always understand completely what the other person is saying by studying their lip movement. Lip movements help them to understand but not completely understand. So this is not the correct one. Uh, third one is the people who neither can speak nor uh, hear, like everyone, they can't be admitted in the government school. That is not right. The people who neither can speak nor hear like everyone, they can only be admitted in a special type of school. That is also not, not correct. So uh, in all these um, given options, only option C is the correct one, like the first one. Question number 15. In a windmill, electricity is produced from the energy of option A, sun. B, water, C, coal, and option D is fast wind. So in a windmill, the energy of the fast wind is used to make the electricity. Question number 16. Ahmed has built a toy car. He wants to make the car move on its own. He adds a battery, wires, a switch, and a dash. He will add a bulb. It's not necessary for a car to have a bulb, option B, motor. That is important because car has to move in circular motion as well. So that's why he will add a motor instead of adding bulb, seat or radio. Motor is uh, important. Question number 17, observe the figures given below. How do these animals protect themselves from their enemies? They live in groups. That is correct because deer and zebras, they live in uh, in groups. 
Option B is they pretend to be dead. That is not right. They give off bad smell. They attack their enemies with their claws. These uh, herbivores do not have claws. So option A is the correct one here. They live in groups. Question number 18. Observe the figure below. The arrow sign means is eaten by. Which of the following animals can X be? So we need a herbivore here which eats plants and uh, and this carnivore, the lion, eats that herbivore. So option A is frog. Frog doesn't eat uh, such type of plants. B is eagle. C is fox. And the last option is deer, which is our correct option. Deer eats plants and lions eat a deer. Question number 19. Which of the following actions requires more energy? Option 1 is cleaning the floor. Second is holding books or bag. Third is for uh, bending a rod. And the fourth option is cooking food. So here we need more energy to bend a steel rod. Question number 20. There is a Japanese maple tree in Sarah's front yard. Sarah has noticed that the length and the direction of the tree's shadow changes throughout the day. One day in August, Sarah measured the length of the tree's shadow every three hours. She made a bar graph from her data. About how long was the shadow at 10 a.m.? Option A is 38 meters, B is 23 meters, C is 5 meters and D is 2 meters. So at 10 a.m., the shadow is 5 meters. So C is the correct option. Question number 21, Sarah learned a lot about shadows from observing the Japanese maple tree in the, her yard. She decided to apply what she learned to draw realistic pictures of her favorite places to visit. First, she wanted to draw the barn at her grandparents' farm. Which of these best shows the barn's shadow at 12 o'clock in a day? So we can see all our pictures and we know that the shadows are longer at the morning time or evening time around 12 o'clock the shadows are shorter because sun is just above our head so option a is the correct option here when sun is in the center and the shadow is smaller as compared to option b or c question number 22 nadia lives near a river the weather forecast says there will be many days of heavy rain. The rain may cause the river to flood. Nadia prepares for the rain by filling sandbags. She then builds a low wall of sandbags around her home. Which statement best explains why Nadia is placing sandbags around her home? Option A is to stop the river from flooding near the home. Option B is to stop lightning from striking her home during the storm. C is to lower the chances that flood water will damage her home. And the last option is to lower the chances that there will be heavy rains at her home. So uh, the forecast says that it is going to rain. So when she will build a sand, a wall of sandbags around her home, it will lower down the chances that flood water will damage her home. It cannot stop lightning or uh, flood. To come. So that's why option C is the correct option. Question number 23 below are three examples of using energy from natural resources. Select use of energy that did not add to air pollution. Option A is an outdoor stove burnt propane, a fuel made from natural gas. Option B is wind moved a hand glider through the air. And the last option is an engine burned gasoline made from petroleum oil to power a lawn mower. Option D is all of above. So in, so in option A and C, air is going to be polluted because any type of fuel is burnt. But in option B, the wind is moving the hang glider. So it's not creating any sort of air pollution. So option B is the correct option here. Question number 24. A beer berry grows close to the ground. It has rough, waxy leaves to trap water during cold winters. It has bright red berries that bears eat. 
what does the bear berry live so it is clearly written here cold winters so in option d in northern forest uh, the bear berries grew so option d is the correct option question number 25 indian flying foxes live in parts of india nepal pakistan bangladesh bhutan and maldives sri lanka and china the yellow areas on this map shows where indian flying foxes live complete the below uh, given sentence indian flying foxes live mostly in the dash part of asia option a western b southern c northern and d is eastern so so we will use the directions over here asia is here I suppose it is in the center so that yellow part where flying foxes live that is towards the south so we can say they mostly live in the southern part of the asia